Hello, everyone. So we are live once again. It is Wednesday, which means you have made it halfway through the work week now. Congratulations. So today is necklaces and earrings. I have short necklaces, long necklaces, and earrings of pretty much every type, except cliff -ons. And if you want some of those, just let me know because I've got plenty of those too. Hi, Violet. Good to see you. Waiting for everybody to get in here a second. Before I tell everybody all the, the news for the weekend or the week. Hi, Mom. We've got Instagram going. Hopefully it's going to function right today. We'll see how that goes. Instagram's been kind of funky lately. So what have you been up to so far this week? Violet, I know you met with your new director. So you got some help with your business. Hi, Daisy. Yeah, Mom, I still need Grandpa to come help me with this right camper. Mom, Max said he still needs Dad to come help with the camper. I got my back walls torn out Yeah, right now. he's got it all torn apart. So I'd really like it if he put it back together. <laughs> that would be a bonus. Hi, Ashley. Good to see you. I don't want to get started too early before all my, all my ladies get in here but we'll have to start in just a minute if we don't get to. So today is my official one year paparazzi anniversary. And I say official because this is the day I actually ordered my kit. Of course, I didn't get started in my business until a couple days later because you have to wait for the kit to get to you. And I had to set up my Facebook page and my Instagram and all that good stuff, get my business cards ordered. So hi, Shannon. Hi, Marjorie. So. This is my one year anniversary. Today, we also hit Life of Party Bronze. So I know the title doesn't mean anything to you guys. So I'll tell you what that means. It means that starting, I believe in September, I will have access to five um, exclusive pieces that I will be able to order each month. So there's something special that not everybody gets. So I'll be able to order five uh, different pieces Yes. Did you see that Z piece? Hey, that one dropped in there today and I hurried up and snapped it up because it's been sold out for a while. So I got two of them. We'll see if they re-release it again. They usually make a couple more during the year, but this is, I think, the third time it's been up there. So we may not get it again. So that might be it. Um, tell your mom to tell dad I'll send them pictures of it now and then I'll send them later. He, <laughs> mom, he says he'll send pictures now and later. Okay, now you're going to be quiet so I can All do right. my thing because um, you're breaking my concentration here. <laughs> um, also, it means that I'm going to get 25 of the convention pieces without even going to the convention. They're going to send them to me. So those will be available later this year. Uh, two of the Z pieces, Violet, the oil spill one that has been sold out for a while. So I posted that on Facebook and Instagram. There are only two available. That's how many I bought. Hi, Marlo. Hi, Aunt Dora. So if anybody wants that, you'll want to snap that up. It is coming. Um, let's see. I think that's it. So for a whole year, we're going to get access. We're going to get extra access to new pieces. So that's a pretty cool thing all by itself. We get stuff not everybody gets. I like that idea. Hi, Helen. Good to see you. All right. This one, rose-colored glasses in purple. So this is a purple moonstone. You can see that little streak right through the middle where the color changes. It is in a silver frame. The earrings are also the round moonstone beads in that purple with that streak to them, through them. They're on a fish hook back. This one is going to lay. All right, Linda, let's adjust your collar again because you're you really having problems here. She has trouble staying dressed. It's hot, I guess. So this one's going to lay just below that collar. You can see there's a tiny bit of white that you can see above it, but not a lot, not even a quarter inch. But if you lower this two inches with your extension, 
It's going to fall right about the mid middle of the chest. Marjorie would like one of these. I do have three available. So we've got two more. This one is called Rose Colored Glasses in purple. And it's going to be our number one. That one just came in yesterday. See, see, you get early access. Helen wants one too, so we've got one more. Who's going to take the last one? See if you can beat Violet to it. <laughs> just kidding, Violet. You don't have to have all of them. See? There we go. Violet took it. I knew you were going to. She buys everything and anything Moonstone. All right. This is Starlit Socials in red. Come to think of it, Violet, that would be a good thing to layer with your other purple Moonstones. You can layer it with the longer purple Moonstone necklaces. Good layering piece. So this one has red rhinestones. This is in the black metal setting. I only have one of these left. This was a combination that they don't do very often. The black metal with the red rhinestones. I like the black metal with any colored stones. Not just the white ones, but colored stones. It's really nice. And the earrings are the red rhinestones, also in that black setting on a black fish, fish hook back. Almost can't say that. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come down about middle of the chest or top of the bust, depending on how it fits you. Okay, so Aunt Dora would like that one. Hola, Jane. Como estas? So in Starlet Social's in red and it has been claimed. It's number two. You ladies didn't come to play today, did you? All right, this one's put on the tag backwards. They do this to me every little while just to confuse me. This one is called Bear Your Heart in red. It has a cute little heart cut out with red rhinestones around the outside in a circular pendant on a delicate silver chain. Yes, that is Max's phone going off, so you can all yell at him later. The earrings are little red hearts with rhinestones encrusted on them. Okay, well, I won't say any more to you, Jane, then, so we won't want to tax your Spanish today. At least you knew that much. See, that's good. This one's about an inch below that collar, so you can see it is one of our more delicate pieces. It's not super showy from a distance. With a two-inch extension, that pendant is going to come down right about here, so right in the top of the cleavage. This one is Bear Your Heart. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Bear Your Heart in red. And it's going to be number three. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you. Now that most of you are here, do not forget our anniversary show at five o'clock on Friday. So we're going to have some extra prizes during the anniversary show. So you definitely don't want to miss that one. This one is stylishly square in green. This one has a green moonstone square set on point along with two silver squares. The top one is encrusted in white rhinestones. Nice little three square piece. The earrings are white rhinestones as well in a silver setting on a fish hook back. This one, the pendant starts about half an inch below that collar. You can see the pendant itself is almost an inch high, maybe three quarters of an inch. You might have this one, Violet. If you bring it down the two inches, it's going to sit right here. So kind of, again, in the top of the cleavage, depending on how it fits you. But this is stylishly square. And it is in green. Number four. Number five. This one is 
flirtatiously fruity. This is a very pretty mint green. These, if everybody's familiar with Mentos, these are about the size and shape of Mentos. But in that mint green color, the cool mint green, then these are semi-transparent cloudy beads, also in a mint green, followed by some more opaque round beads in that mint green. So this is a three-layer necklace, but all these layers are connected. The little connectors are silver bars right here in the end. So you can't get the layers twisted because they're hooked together. The earrings are the semi-transparent cloudy mint green beads on a silver fish hook back. This one hangs down about an inch and a half below that collar. So you can see it's a very nice mid chest piece with a two inch extension. You're gonna be able to bring that down to sit over the bust. So about there. This one is called Flirtatiously Fruity. In green, and it is number five. If you have not seen the pre-sale posts or pre-claim posts lately, I encourage you to do so on the Instagram and the Facebook pages. I've been trying to post the things that I've ordered so that you have access before anybody else does. So those of you who follow on my pages get to see those things earlier than everyone else and you can claim them before they come in. So I will be posting some more from today that I have not posted yet. All right, it's time for our first family feud question. Out of five answers, we are going to take number three on this one. I want the third answer that's on this card. Name something you might watch through binoculars. Something you might watch through binoculars. I see you, Terry. Okay. Let's see. It looks like Helen got it first. It was actually the neighborhood or the people around you. Oh, he watches airplanes. That would be fun to watch through the, the glasses. Helen got the right answer. Let's see. Birds was number one. The neighborhood people, obviously number three. Number four was stars. Oh, dolphins, that's good. The speaker at the convention. Well, now we don't have to worry about that with the big TV screens, right? And especially not this year and last year. We got to watch it at home on the TV screens. Car racing, turtles, aircraft, sports was number two. Sporting events. Um, I don't think we specifically got the last one, but that's okay. Concert or opera was the last one. It's not that much different from the convention, right? The speaker. Yeah, like your mom would be watching the pool. She'd be watching the men at the pool. Mom, are you watching the men at the pool again? You don't want to do that. You live in a senior's neighborhood. Not a good sight. I hope their grandsons are visiting or something. Grown grandsons. Let's let's clarify that. Ninety year old men have grown up grandsons. Yeah, it's creepy. They're watching you, Jane. All right, I brought this one out to show. We're gonna show it, but I brought it out for a reason. This one is called Global Glamour in silver. It is, of course, one of our blockbusters. This one has the gray hematite rhinestones on it. These are point out. So rather than having them flipped the other way where the point would be at the bottom of the setting, it is actually at the top and then they're in hammered metal frames, larger in the middle, smaller as you go up top. And then our earrings are the same pieces in those little frames, but they're hung on a fish hook back. So the reason I brought this one out was not so much to show you the silver one, but to let you know, you can pre-order the white version. We now have a white version that came out specially. It will only be available for a limited time. I believe it is sold out online already, but I have four coming. So you can now buy this necklace with the white stone. You can pre-claim it on my pages, or you can buy the silver one that I've already got. So I wanted to point that out because it is not gonna last. 
This one is about three quarters of an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension on it, you're going to be able to bring that down about here. So it's going to sit right on the bust. So this one is Global Glamour. This one is actually in silver. And then our new version will have white rhinestones in the center rather than those gray. So this one's going to be number six. I do have two of the gray in stock as of right now. But that one I can reorder. I try to let you in on the secrets because paparazzi likes to re-release things and sometimes they re-release it in the original color and sometimes they re-release it in a different color. And so it's always nice when we get some variations of our blockbusters. This one I'm going to have to hold the tag on. This is actually Romantic Razzle in blue. This is also a square set on point. It is a dark blue moonstone. It has a little triangular piece above it that has a couple little rhinestones, white rhinestones set in it. Showing some of the smaller pieces because some of you like some of the smaller ones or you like them for your daughters or granddaughters. So they're good for that. The earrings are these round blue moonstone beads on a silver fish hook back. I do also have one of these available in a silver, which is a gray. It's a dark gray. Don't have it out here with me, but I do have one. This is about an inch below the collar without any extension. With the extension, let's see, that's about two inches right there. So it's going to hit right here about the top of the cleavage. This is also a good one for layering. So if you don't necessarily like small ones, but you've got some longer necklaces you'd like to layer, this is a good one for layering. So this is Romantic Razzle in blue. It is number seven. Just one in the blue, but I do have one in the silver. Yes, and like mom said, casual everyday clothes. Sometimes you want something a little smaller. Not gonna be super eye-catching. So those are also good for that. Right. Let me move this one little piece of fringe tried to get away. This one is Divinely Diva. Divinely Diva in blue. Very pretty fringe necklace. This is in the black metal. We have navy blue or they might even be to midnight. They have a little bit of an iridescent finish on them. So there's blue beads, very dark blue beads up here crystal tight and also some of those black metal beads mixed in so this is a dark blue and black bead with the black metal fringe of course on black metal chain and the earrings are the black metal beads as well on a fish hook back i tell you what the name of it was divinely diva is the name divinely diva so this is the way that one's going to lay. I like to play with the fringe. See, this is why I can't wear them very often, because I'll sit and play with the fringe. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you could, of course, bring this one down and it's going to sit more from here to here. So the lower part of that chest rather than the upper part. I believe I have four of these. Four of these. This is Divinely Diva. Blue. Why are people trying to call me? Why do they always try to call me when I'm live? Divinely Diva in blue. Number eight. I know they never want to call me when I'm not live. Does that happen to you guys too? The only time people call you or text you is when you're busy. I could sit on the couch for three hours and nobody would call me or text me. But let me start doing something. All right, this one is called Fairy Lights in green. So this is a green moonstone. I believe they said this one's a cat's eye moonstone. Usually you can identify it by that streak that goes through the middle. So this is kind of a mint green. It's between a mint and what was the other one I was looking at? I think willow. It's between mint and willow. So it's a light green in a silver setting and it's kind of shaped like a fat teardrop or a fat raindrop. 
This one has the light green moonstone earrings as well on a fish hook back. I have three of those. This one is going to hang down just a little bit below that collar. The actual pendant or the stone is going to be about uh, three eighths of an inch below the collar, but it, the chain actually ends up here almost at the collar. With the two inch extension, however, you could bring it down about mid chest. So it'll be a nice length there. So this one, let me see if I can get it closer now without messing up the focus. This is fairy lights in green, three available, and it's number nine. When the dentist has your hands in your mouth, yeah. That sounds about right. Like I can answer you. I couldn't even if you texted me because I can talk, but I can't hold my phone up here in front of my face while he's doing something right in front of me. It's very hard to do. Right, our next one. It's the pretty wooden necklaces. I have this one in this, let's see, we're gonna call this teal. Teal blue, and I have it in a bright pink. This is three strands of wooden discs and little round wooden spacers that kind of look like donuts. Strung together with a very dark brown thread. This one is not adjustable because it has the hook and bead closure. Although you could put a necklace extension still in between there, but you would have to put one in there. there it doesn't come with one. The earrings are those same teal blue discs on a fish hook back. I have one available in this blue color. I have two that are in the bright pink. This one is sitting down around bust level. So at least they gave you a nice length, right? If you can adjust it. So it's kind of an in-between necklace. This is the bright pink version. So we have one in the blue, two in the pink. These are called Barbados Bopper. Barbados Bopper. Nice and bright and pretty. For summertime, wood works great with the summery dresses or tops. This is number 10. All right, it's time for another question. All right, we're going to look for answer number four out of five. Name something no fairy tale would be complete without. Okay. Okay. Number nine, Moonstone to Violet. Number 10 to Marlow in the blue green. So we have two pink. A kiss, that's a good one. It was not on here. A witch was number three, so that's close. The prince was number two. Let's see, a princess. That is absolutely right. The princess, gotta have a princess. Otherwise, who would all this stuff happen to? So let's see, it looks like Terry came in first with the princess. Uh, the wicked stepmother wasn't in there. She's usually a witch anyway. <laughs> Let's see, there's two more. Happily Ever After, that was one. That was actually number one. And the last one, nope. The last one was a fairy godmother. Otherwise, who's gonna work all the miracles, right? Something's gotta bring the prince and princess together. All right, let's do some earrings. Earrings sound good to everybody. This one is Artisan Garden in silver. So they call this silver, but they have a little bit of a blue wash to them, a greenish blue. I'm trying to think what they call that. Um, can't think of it. Anyway, they sort of look like little flower shapes. They're little flower shapes in the center of these silver marquee cut pieces. That's why they call it garden, artisan garden. Patina, that's why they call what they call it, patina. 
So sort of like when it starts to, uh, when copper starts to oxidize and you see that greenish color, that's what is on these. This is the size of these earrings. These are Artisan Garden. They are in silver. Let's see if I can show you those little flowers. I have two pairs of these. <laughs> They're number 11. Give you some hand sanitizer. Yes, if you're over here sneezing, you get hand sanitizer. <laughs> Everybody in our house is sneezing right now. If it's no, not a cold, it's right. allergies. Most of us have allergies. Mine's from dust. Yeah, Max has been working in the camper today, ripping things out. So he's got dust all in his nose. Not fun. The little girls have caught a cold of some sort. And their dad. This is Long Live the Rebels in gold. So this is a little teardrop shaped gold piece. A little hook with all these rings hanging off of it. So lots of little delicate golden rings. I have one pair of these remaining. These are a post earring. They have the little post on the back. This is the size. Long live the rebels. In gold. This name makes no sense to me. Number 12. But it's very rare that their names do make sense to me, so... All right, we have just one pair of these. These are called Southwestern Soul in blue. So we have the turquoise crackle bead in the center in a teardrop shape with a very, almost like a flowery antique silver frame around the outside. Just have one pair. Blue. This is the size. They're called Southwestern Soul in blue. They're number 13. One thing about earrings, they move a little faster, don't they? This one is Long May She Rain in blue. This is a dark blue. It's like a navy blue, not quite to midnight, because when the light hits it, it is a little lighter. You can see some a little bit of lightning in there. It's a marquee cut rhinestone with facets surrounded by white rhinestones to add to the sparkle. Number 13 to Aunt Dora. I just have one pair of these left. This is the size. So long may she reign in that blue. Number 14. Last pair of these, outstanding opulence. They're in that light blue, very, very pretty light blue. We have round blue rhinestones and teardrop shaped blue rhinestones. The blue rhinestones in the center are round, but then they have little white rhinestones above and below. Let's see if I can show you those. So They're so sparkly. Okay, 14 to Helen. They're so sparkly, it's hard to show you. This is the size. Let's try that on for size. There we go. Outstanding opulence. In blue, just one remaining, number 15. I think Esley got those for her daughter. I don't know if her daughter ended up liking them or if she ended up keeping them. Either, either way, maybe Daisy will steal them from her. All right, it's time for another question. Let's see. Stick answer number four on this one. Name something you eat that comes on a stick. Something you eat that comes on a stick.
Hi, Cynthia. Corn dog or hot dog was number one. Ice cream was number two. Popsicle was also in with ice cream, so that was also number two. So we've got the corn dogs and the hot dogs and the ice cream of popsicles. Um, a sucker wasn't on here, and I was surprised that it wasn't, but it wasn't. Roasted marshmallow, that's a good one too. Also not on here. Kebabs was number three. No lollipops. Two more, and one of them is our answer. What else comes on a stick? I don't know if I really consider this a stick. Most of the time, it's more like a paper cone, a narrow paper cone. Not corn. Cotton candy. Aunt Dora got it. Cotton candy was number four. And a candy apple was number five. Candy apples. I like the candy apples. All right, let's do some more earrings. These are Tour de Taj Mahal. These are some antique copper flowery filigree earrings. They're kind of in a teardrop, a scallopy teardrop shape. They're on an antique copper fish hook back. This is the size. So they do kind of just look flowery from a distance. I do have two pairs of these available. This is Tour de Taj Mahal in antique copper. They're number 16. All right, now my nose is tickling. Of course, it had to happen, right? We're about halfway done, my nose starts to tickle. At least it lasted that long. All right, these are flirtatiously flourishing. Also in the antique copper. Hi, Allison. Sneaking in on Instagram over there. See, if you want to sneak, you do it on Facebook because Instagram tells me whenever you join. So these are a teardrop shape. Uh, she's in both places. Look at that. They have a little flowery or leafy motif on them. You can see the antiquing. We've got the black background. These are on a fish hook back. I don't know how it skipped. This is the size, just one of these remaining. I love how Instagram decides to change my coloring here. Here we go. Flirtatiously flourishing. In copper, just one left. Number 17. These are texture retreat. These are a kite shaped silver pair with texturing all over them. Um, it's not in any particular pattern, just a texturing. Number 16 to Andorra. Let's see if I can show these to you. I have to turn them a little bit. It's kind of like a scratch type pattern in it. This is the size. So just one pair of these remaining as well. Texture Retreat in Silver. It's number 18. Are you caught up yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Don't want to get too far ahead of him. You all be missing half your stuff when it comes time to send them out. It does kind of look like cat scratches, doesn't it, Violet? All right. These are Galaxy Gardens in silver. I know Allison has these. These have the hematite stones all throughout this twisted silver frame. He might hematite stone in each one of those twists. Just have one of these remaining. This is the size of these. They are in an antique silver frame. So you have the combination between the black or the dark gray and that silver. So these are Galaxy Gardens, number 19. And this reminds me, because these are from the last competition that we did. Not, not the one that just got done, but the one before that. Our competition jewelry is on the way. Yay! So it got mailed out yesterday. And projected delivery is Friday. I'm going to say Monday to be safe. Because sometimes it slows down in between here and there. The, the people that are sending it are in Utah. 
So it doesn't always get here exactly when they say it will, but we can hope for Friday, right? And even if it comes Saturday, we can see it Sunday. So I'll let you know as soon as that's in, I'll put up a little post that tells you that it's in and we'll do it on the next available show. All right, this is luck bead a lady. Luck bead a lady. Referring to our little silver beads. Got two hoops made out of these little silver beads on a fish hook back. This is the size. I can't wait for the new jewelry to come. It's more exciting to me than the regular packages because I didn't pick it out. This is number 20. So Just one that. pair of these. Silver? Yes, it is silver. Luck bead a lady. Number 20. I thought you might like those, Allison. All right, let's do another question. <clears throat> let's see, number three on this, you're never going to get. You might not get number four. So let's do number two on this one. Name something on which you'd hate to see an out of order sign. Something on which you'd hate to see an out of order sign. I'm going to take answer number two. See, Jane just snuck in over there on Instagram too. I see you. The bathroom was number one. Telephone. A payphone was actually number three. And I didn't think anybody would guess that one. Oh, a snack machine. That's a good one. Coffee machine. That would be me. The bus. No, not the bus. Not the train. ATM. Marlo got it. ATM was number two. Number four was a stamp machine. Does nobody buy stamps at the post office? I mean, most of us do, or online these days. I don't know how many post offices even have a stamp machine, mostly because they're always out of order. Ours always were. Does anybody else still have a stamp machine? Some of our, our bigger post offices used to, but I'm not sure they do anymore. They never worked. Yeah, they never worked. <laughs> That's what Max says. They never worked. I have to go out to work, and I never could get <laughs> yeah. I just order mine online, to be honest. I don't have time to be messing with them. Yeah, at that time, I didn't have that. <laughs> All right. Our next one. You buy them from a machine? Okay. So you still have them. Do they ever work? This is Heartless Eris. Heartless Eris. So this is a heart, kind of in that caged style. So we have a hollow center. We have all the filigree in the front with the red rhinestones. And then on the back, we have the little heart cutouts in the silver. Jane says she gets her stamps online. She has no clue. So this is a longer necklace. The earrings are those red rhinestones on a fish hook back. I see Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez over here. Can you give me your first name so that I know what to call you? It's on Instagram. This one is mid-abdomen. So that's on the tightest setting with the two-inch extension that's included. We can drop that down to where this dropped waist is. And this loop at the top is big enough that if you wanted to, you could actually double that chain through there and make it a shorter necklace, especially if you want to wear it right now when you're on Zoom or other video conferencing. So this is Heartless Heiress. It is in red. Just one left. It's number 21. I have to do a few longer necklaces so that we can keep Kim happy. You buy them online or Costco. Okay actually really cheap on eBay. Um, I don't know exactly who's selling them on there, but there's forever stamps on eBay. I can get a hundred for about $32. Also, if you know anybody that works at the post office, they get a discount. So you might try buying them through them. All right. This is classic Casanova in silver. This is a large silver filigree heart. Also has one of our silver hematite rhinestones above and below. The interior heart on this one. 
The earrings that are included are the hematite rhinestones on a fish hook back. Hmm, I wonder why Jeff doesn't get a discount. Maybe it's only certain employees. Yeah, no, I've bought them on eBay and they've been, they are very real. And we do have a friend who works for the post office, but I'm not sure what his position is and he gets them at a discounted rate. So he'll sell them to us as well. This one is down at the dropped waist with a two inch extension. It would be down here in the lower belly. I know you can barely see my fingernails there. There we go. This one does not have the large loop, but it does have a large gauge chain. So if you wanted to fasten your lobster clasp in there, you could possibly bring it up to about this length. Now, these are the actual ones from the post office, Terry. I'll show you later. This is classic Casanova in silver. Just one left, number 22. They come on the regular paper like the post office has. Let's see if I can get that one off of there. All right. This one dropped inside that one. There we go. This one is empirical elegance. Empirical elegance. So these are, what are we going to call these? Maybe dagger shaped white rhinestones. They're hanging from this little curved silver bar that also has rhinestones on it. So you get your full rhinestone effect. And then the earrings that come with it are the silver tassels on a fish hook back. Let me turn this one around. It's stuck inside the paper. There we go. So the silver tassels. I have two of these. This one's kind of a medium length necklace. So it's sitting right at the bust. This is the tightest setting. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down to about mid abdomen or maybe a little bit of more upper abdomen. If you want to shorten it, these links in the chain are large enough you could fasten into those. So you could raise it up a little bit, maybe get it just above the bust there for a length. So this one is empirical elegance. They look like little icicles to me. Empirical Elegance, two of these available, is number 23. Let's see. Number 24. Pull this one up a little bit. There we go. Number 24 is the Royal Coronation. So in this, we have a faceted white rhinestone like a mirrored back on it. You almost see yourself in it. It has a freely moving silver frame over the top. So it's actually two piece pendant. The earrings are again those silver tassels on a fish hook back. This one hangs down in the lower abdomen, just a little bit above that dropped waist. With the two inch extension, you can bring that down here into the lower belly. It also is large enough chain. You could pull it up a little bit if you wanted to. So this one is the Royal Coronation in white. It's number 24. Number 25, I just have one of, had variations of this before. This is front and epicenter. Front and epicenter, these are two conjoined circles, so they don't move, with black rhinestones along the bottom edge of those circles. The earrings are black rhinestones as well on a fish hook back. 
This one hangs in about mid abdomen with a two inch extension. Sorry, the two inch extension that'll go just below that dropped waist. Get some hand sanitizer. This one, if you want to shorten it, you may be able to get through this loop at the top. If you don't, you could just pass it through the top of this circle double it up and have it sit in your upper chest instead. So I just have one of these. This is front and epicenter in black, number 25. All right, so we have one more family feud question. So one more chance at winning that free piece of jewelry. And I'm sorry, I don't always get to post them, post them online. But rest assured, they are coming off your invoices. So if you ever look at your invoice, I know some of you said you never read your invoice, but if you look at your invoice you and you were a winner that week, you will see the $5 discount on the bottom that is for that free piece. <coughs> so last week we had several discounts and we'll have several this week as well. We usually have at least three per week four per week, sorry. Wednesday show, Friday show, Sunday show, and then the wear it weekend where you post the pictures of yourself in on in paparazzi and tag me. And somebody wins out of those people. All right, our last question. Hmm. Let's take answer number three on this one. Name something your stomach does. Something your stomach does. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Growl. That was number one. Bloat. Uh, not quite. Shrinks. That was not it. Um, makes noise. That would be number one. Flip flops. That was number five. Digest was four. Cramping or aching. Number two, protrude. Let's see, I'm trying to decide which one to take because none of them were exactly, exactly the word that they used, but that's okay. Let's go with swells. Violet will give it to you, swells because bloating is more of just air. Um, but the word was stretches, what they used. So it gets bigger. I mean, but they didn't put it that way. Why can't they just use the right words, right? <laughs> they should have used our words. Sometimes it makes it hard to decide because so many of them are so close and yet really not quite the same. All right. These are Deco Dynamite. Hi, Becky. Deco Dynamite in gold. So these are jacket earrings, which means they're a two piece earring. This whole piece you see at the bottom, this is the jacket that can go behind your ear. So behind your earring. And then this is the stud. This is a little marquee shaped gold rhinestone. That is the stud. So you can wear these all in front like a one piece or you can put this jacket behind your ear and wear just the stud in the front. Or if you really want to, you can just wear the stud. So we have some large elongated marquee shaped gold rhinestones. Let's see, we've got a teardrop, another marquee shape, and then we've got some little white round rhinestones in there. So these are called Deco Dynamite and they're number 26. Daisy, I'm with you. All mine does is expand. That's all it does. All right, these we just have one remaining of. These are called with all due respect. So these are a dewy bead. So spelled like the dew that gets on your lawn and your flowers. The white dewy bead, it is faceted. It is on a silver frame. So you can kind of see 
they make it like a little net on the back to hold all these pieces in place. They're on a fish hook back. This is the size. So all together, the shape is kind of like a diamond. This is my last pair of these with all due respect in white. These are not moonstones. These are the white dewy beads. It's number 27. Then I have one of these left. These are petrified posh. They're a little circular earring, drop earring with wooden pieces in black. So about a half circle or a half oval on this side and then two rectangular pieces on this side. And then we have our little hexagon up in the top. These are called petrified posh in black. This is the size. So one of these remaining, and it is number 28. Number 29, Mandala Mecca in yellow. So we have two flowery silver frames with a yellow rhinestone right in the center. It's a bright lemony yellow. It is the antique silver, and it kind of has that dot pattern on all the metal, the little raised dots. This is the size. So these are Mandala Mecca in yellow. And they're number 29. Full swing shimmer. This is my last pair of these as well. These are the bright shiny copper. So they're little cord type chains with the round circles at the bottom, little circle frames, four of them on each earring. You're on a copper fish hook back. This is the length of them. So full swing shimmer in copper. These are going to be number 30. That's our last piece of the day. Number 30. We're going to have some new things in on Friday. So I look forward to seeing you again Friday at five for our anniversary show. So we've got some extra prizes. Plus we've got new things coming in. So we'll have fun celebrating the first anniversary of putting on the glitz tomorrow at one o'clock. Do not forget, it's an hour later than it has been. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock, we'll have the rings and bracelets and throw in some urban. So if you happen to like that urban style, whether it's for men or unisex or the leathery type things, um, that's what we show in our urban show. So we'll have those three things mixed in together tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I look forward to seeing you then. You all have a safe rest of the week if I don't see you again until Friday get through your work week, and then we'll see you again on Sunday. Bye now.